Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at what is the best ASIC miner to be buying right now. We're going to be covering obviously the main ASIC mineable coins. I'm going to give my opinions on the ASICs on the market right now. You know, mainly Bitcoin, Casper, Elysium, and a bit of the ETH hash algorithm ones. I don't really do much videos on script mining, but I have seen kind of here the L9 and the, I think it's the L7. I have pretty good profitabilities, but I haven't really focused on that, and I've never been one on the channel to actually talk about script mining or Litecoin. I believe that there's just way better coins out there that kind of do replace Litecoin, so we're not going to get into that right now. So first off, obviously, we're looking at Mine the ASIC here today. If you want to check this out as well, you can find it in the description below for this website. Looking at profitability, we have the Bitmain and Miner AL1 for Alethium. The profits per day, $350 per day. Not really an actual profitability figure because they haven't really come out on the network and that is going to substantially drop as soon as all of these miners do come on the network. I think maybe we're even going to see, you know, a doubling in hash rate every month for the next couple of months. And this profitability is going to come down very, very quickly. So we did make a video previously talking about, you know, uh, Alethium ASICs and whether it's the best time to buy them right now. The AL1 kind of looks good just because of the profitability right now. 10 cents per kilowatt hour is great. I know not maybe not a lot of you have that. If we can bump this up actually to 12 cents per kilowatt hour, we can see it's still relatively good in terms of the profitability per day. And then when we come back here, we can see that the ROI time is around three months. As I said, I do think that, that is going to go up. So you can't always trust the figures on these kind of websites. You've got to wait until the network actually reacts to all of this hash rate coming online. I don't know how many models are actually going to come online, but I know it's a substantial amount of hash rate with the hash rate being 15.6 terahash. And all the other ASICs that we see for Alethium, for example, this gold shell is only 720 giga hash, and then we see the AL0 for 400 giga hash. So I think Ice River are kind of going for that KS0 kind of miner right there. But for the most part, I think it's all going to be swallowed up by the Ant Miner AL1. I wouldn't buy this personally. I've said this a lot of times on the channel. It is way too expensive for what you're getting. I know those people that were first into Casper. They kind of got a lot from that KS0, but this is way too much of a price to kind of risk on mining Alethium right now, because it's not as steady as Casper coin was either, and the fundamentals aren't as great as Casper coin right now. So it's a kind of different climate to what we saw with Casper coin because they had very small miners. The first miner for Casper coin was the KS0, and that was for $1,500, and that was from Ice River. This is, you know, the first iteration of a Bitmain Alethium miner, and it's going for, what did they say the price was down here? $30,000. And then the other ones, the first one to come out was the AL box, and that was at $1,500. So kind of around the range of that KS0 price. And I don't know if anyone's actually bought this or had any profitability from it. We'll have to see, you know, over the next coming months, how well that's paid off for a bunch of people. Same with the AL0, they're kind of going for a low hash rate miner. It might be good, it's 6.19 Alethium per day, so it's around $10, which is still good, but I still believe that the hash rate is going to be taken over by the AL1 very, very quickly when those get out onto the network. Then you have the Gold Shell AL Box 2, which is basically double the hash rate, double the power, and I wouldn't really be putting 2,600 in just to get $16 a day right now, and then probably, you know, $5 a day when all of this hash rate hits the network. So that's Alethium covered. I personally wouldn't put any money into this. If you, I would say you kind of missed the opportunity because a lot of the ASIC mining that happens is kind of swallowed up by ASIC mining farms and hosting facilities. They just have way better economics in terms of like the power. And they're going to basically outcompete you on everything. Then if we go over to Casper coin, we have the KS5 Pro right here. The profitability is still good, but nothing near what we saw, you know, maybe four months ago with the KS3s. They were coming out with $120, $160 per day for quite a substantial time. But subsequently that has gone way back up. 
in the last four months because a lot of the hash rate has been coming onto the network on Casper Coin. We've had a doubling in the hash rate in the last one and a half months for Casper Coin, so any of your profitability is basically slashed in half. And then there's obviously these new KS5 Pros that are coming online. I still think they're a good buy at $10,000, but the ROI time is going to be extending quite a lot. And there's probably going to be new miners coming out onto the network very soon. You know, you've got Ice River, IB Link are coming out with new ones, Dragon Ball, which I haven't actually seen yet, but we'll see how that plays out. And obviously all of the previous versions. So if you've got this miner today, it might be a good payoff, but realistically, we're going to have to see what happens in the bull run. Obviously in the bull run, the all of these ASIC miners will kind of have good profitability, hopefully. But right now, the kind of optics of it, you have to wait a year. Hopefully the bull run hits within a year. But as I said, there's going to be probably new miners that come out that are way better efficiency or way better hash rate than what we're seeing right now. Same goes for Alephium as well. And then let's switch it over to uh, Bitcoin mining. As I said, I don't really like the script mining side of things. I don't know what this is actually. Or well, this is power blocks, I believe. And then there's a Monero miner as well. I don't think that was very good from what I've seen videos on. But Bitcoin mining is kind of in the dirt right now. You would expect that to kind of be the case. It was actually way more profitable at, you know, $50,000 maybe four months ago. It was kind of bringing in five dollars i would say per day but right now the only profitable bitcoin miner i don't think there is one at 12 cents per kilowatt hour if we scroll up this is what i mean by the asic companies or the asic hosting companies are kind of taken over because they can take advantage of these low electricity costs we're at 10 cents per kilowatt hour the only one that is profitable right now is the s21 and then the S21 Hydro. So obviously this is way more efficient, but doesn't really fit the means of a lot of people in the space. They would probably go with the normal S21 because it takes a lot more to build out, you know, a facility for hydro mining. So for Bitcoin mining, unless you're working with an extremely low electricity rate, then I don't think it's very viable right now. As I want to reiterate, hosting companies is probably the best place to go if you want to buy a Bitcoin miner I think if you buy it, then ship it out to a hosting facility, it's going to be way more profitable for you and for the hosting facility. Even though you don't technically have the miner on board, you can still probably, you know, have control of it at the ASIC hosting facility. As I said, you can take advantage of that for all of these other miners that are producing a lot more profitability per day. I would mainly be focusing on Casper coin miners right now. Bitcoin ones are kind of down. But the price of them have come down as well. So they might start to shoot up a lot more in price. You can see this S21 is only $3,600, whereas this new AL box is $30,600. So quite a stark difference. You can get basically 10 of those for the price of one of these. And in the long run, you kind of got to stretch it out. Will you be mining Bitcoin forever? Probably. Will we be mining Alephium forever? That's kind of up in the air. We don't really know where Alephium's heading. Bitcoin kind of has that track record. We always know that it's going to be the top cryptocurrency out there. And there's a lot of adoption for it already. You know, first to the gate is basically winning right now. But the profitability is very low. So I wouldn't be focusing on Bitcoin ASICs as such. Unless you're getting one and shipping it out to a hosting facility. And then the last one that I want to really focus on. And I've said this in multiple videos. I'm kind of just reiterating at this point the Jazzminer X16Q. So we have a vast range of coins that we can actually mine on these ETH hash miners from Jazzminer. And there's a whole range, obviously, of the X16 range that we can go with. And it seems like most of the coins are still profitable regardless of kind of what you're doing on the X16. If you want to mine Ethereum Fair, if you want to mine Powerblocks, Ethereum Classic, Octospace, and then Zill plus onto both of these, then it might be an option. But I feel like you have way less options with at least Bitcoin miners, BCH, I wouldn't really mine that. Nobody really wants to mine that compared to Bitcoin, obviously. Same with all of the other Bitcoin forks that we see. Casper coin, I know it says Casper coin here is the only one, but there is two forks, I believe, that are ASIC mineable. And then for Alephium, I don't believe that there's any forks for Alephium that you can mine on an ASIC miner. 
but this kind of gives you options to mine quite a lot more coins. If you feel like Ethereum Classic might take off, you know, in the coming months, then maybe it might be a good play to start mining on these. But the one that I recommend definitely out of the whole Jazz Miner range is either the X16Q that we're seeing here, or one of these X16 Pro models that are coming out. So we have a bunch of X16 models that are slightly better than the normal X16. So you have the QE and then the Q Pro. And I believe that these are slightly more efficient and, you know, the price of them kind of varies. But right now, if we're looking down here, we can see one of these X16s, $2,400 on the actual website. This pro version is 3,700. And then let's go back and see what the QE is selling for. So 2,079. And there's two versions of this, so I'd definitely go with the 1,750, just a little bit extra hash rate. And you're only paying two, well, actually $150 more just to get that extra hash rate. Same efficiency, I believe. But personally, Jazz Miners have been one of the best ASICs for home miners recently. So when I say this, I mean like they've been producing regular profits daily of around $2 to $5 even over the past year or so, and that includes when the crypto market has been very volatile. So over the past year, I think this has actually been the best ASIC that you could have bought, and I have said this in multiple videos. It's just a steady, reliable profitability that we would want from a miner. We don't want to worry about switching it over to different coins and all that stuff, but it does produce just that steady profitability. You can leave it in a corner in your house and not have to worry about switching it over. It's pretty basic and I think you can just stick it on Unminable or maybe on nice hash, and it'll switch it over when it is the most profitable. So when we're looking at the chart here of just the ASIC mineable coins that we kind of covered, you can see Bitcoin in the last 60 days, 9.7 down. I expect everything to be down in the last 60 days. Casper coin is actually up 1% in the last 60 days. Ethereum Classic is down, so maybe not mining that on the Jazz Miner, but maybe Octospace and Zill. It's a good combination. You can make quite a lot of money. You can make steady profits, basically mining Octospace. It's one of those coins that I think is gonna be, you know, fairly larger in the future. Maybe 250 million in market cap. Same goes for Alephium, it's down 15%. It rose up 50, which is good to see, kind of is recovering a little bit. And then Casper coin is kind of being a fairly straight one, so you can kind of rely on those profitabilities, but new miners are coming out. This is one of the things that I'm talking about the Jazz Miner is that not many new miners are coming out for that and if they are, they're coming out from Jazz Miner for the ETHash algorithm and they've basically been the best miner for that algorithm for the past year. If we go to Bitcoin mining, we can see Bitcoin obviously the whole market is following that. Octospace kind of recovered very quickly and then dipped back down. I don't know what was going on on the network there. Hopefully that recovers a little bit more to offer some more profitability to the X16 queues. But Bitcoin has been relatively stable, barring the fact that it did dip down. It has recovered pretty much nicely up to 61,000. I think we're going to start to approach this bull run very quickly. This is why I'm making this video for ASICs for you guys to mine with. The profitabilities that you see in here are probably going to go maybe double, apart from this AL box. We'll have to see what happens on the network. The profitabilities, as I said, are going to double probably, maybe even triple over the next coming months as we're entering into the bull run, if we ever do. And if you remember in 2021, 2022, the Bitcoin mining or at least all crypto mining, even GPU mining was still very, very profitable going into that massive bull run. And we're going to try to take advantage of that by getting an ASIC miner. Because right now, GPU mining, it might offer profitability, but as soon as Ethereum went, we kind of were all up in air, didn't really know what to do in terms of profitability. And I think we're slowly heading towards a lot of people adopting ASICs just for steadier profitabilities. Just based on the usability factor, you know, ASICs are kind of plug and play. GPU mining is a lot of research into coins, you know, overclocking and stuff like that. I think we're going to see more of an evolution of people just going over to ASIC mining after they've kind of experienced the downside of GPU mining and CPU mining. It has been great days, but it hasn't been as reliable. 
So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on kind of what A6 you guys would buy. As I'm saying, recommendation is probably the Jasmine X16Q or the newest version, the X16 Pro or QE. They're all relatively the same price. And I wouldn't really go for a lithium anymore in terms of the ASIC mining side. Casper coin, still relatively good as if you can find them cheap, then yes. But as I said, the hash rate has doubled in the past one and a half months. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.